Welcome back to HodgePodge. In this tutorial, we will be reviewing what is in my opinion the most quintessential aspect to drawing in Rhino, and that is our object snaps. The object snaps will be located on the bottom right, but just in case if they are not, you could bring them up by typing O snap. For our first test, we will uncheck everything except for endpoint and near. As you can see, the near snap will snap my point to the circumference of the circle as I rotate around it, while the endpoint snap will snap my point to the endpoint of a line segment. We can then select midpoint and then deselect near. As you can see, our point will now automatically snap to the midpoint of our line segments. Deselect your current snaps and now select near and perpendicular. Doing so will help us select the circle and get a line that is perpendicular to our square. Again, deselect your current snaps, and then select intersection and tangent. For this to make sense, we would need an existing line that creates an intersection that we can then select. Hover over the right portion of the circle and your line will automatically snap to what point would be tangent. We can do this with the other intersections. With the center O snap, the center of each shape can be automatically selected by hovering over the perimeter of that object. Quadrant will allow us to select any portion of a polyline that fall on a quadrant of the grid. Selecting this option will allow us to easily draw a square within our circle. That is everything we have to learn for exercise 17. I hope you will continue to follow along with the remainder of this series. After this video, I will be skipping ahead to exercise 22 because I feel that the next few exercises are self-explanatory. It's time to start moving along with more advanced skills. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to leave a like and share this video. Check out my other videos and subscribe.